Hey, Daddy Jack's Cold with the Blues here. So, that's a beautiful acorn uh, butternut squash. I love whenever I cook something in the oven, a roast turkey, whatever, utilize the oven, it's hot. So, I had a butternut squash we picked up at uh, Huntsburg Farms. So, I'm going to make a quiche. So, we got some, uh, some pie shells. Might help if I turn the oven on, Keisha. What do you think? I think that would help. Think so? Uh huh. Okay. Exactly. So, uh, hey, buddy. Yeah. I was holding a bacon down low, looking for something else. <laughs> I had it like this, and I feel a tug, like a like a like a, like a fish, <laughs> on a bite in the hook. Yeah, he's, he's quick. So anyway, so, so I was thinking the other night, I had all this butternut squash, so I was going to do a butternut, like a, a butternut pie, a butternut maple pie, maple syrup pie, but I got a few people, my buddy Teddy's coming over, last motorcycle ride of the season, my daughter Rachel and Emily, her friend Emily, might be coming over, so... I was gonna make one. I was gonna make one, uh, one quiche, but I'm gonna make two. So we got plenty. And uh, so it's gonna be a butternut squash, apple, bacon quiche. It's a mouthful, but but it tastes good. So any quiche to me has got to have a little bit of onion for the flavor. So I was debating whether to dice or slice the apples. What do you think, Lakeisha? Oh my God, you're the chef. I, I, I don't know. For bite size, I'm guessing dice? Huh? Dice? Not sliced. Okay, well, why'd you ask? <laughs> so, Is there a difference in the texture well, they'll, they'll or flavor? They'll probably break up. They'll soften up. It'll be easy to eat. Okay. It'll and look I'll... pretty. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I like to get opinions. <laughs> but then I make the executive decision. Yeah, true. I want to not be in, uh, what do they call that? What? Uh, a when a you, dictator? No, I, I didn't say that. <laughs> I said when, you, when somebody says something, you say the opposite, oppositional. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not doing that. Oppositional defiant. Yeah. Not you. <laughs> so we got this nice squash. I don't know if I can. Yo, uh huh? Alright, pair knife would be easier, but <laughs> it'd be difficult if it wasn't difficult everybody would be doing it, right? Mm hmm The smell of bacon. Onions going in. Which one do you like onions, Axel? The axe is not like a Vanessa. Sometimes she'll get she'll get underfoot and you know you can trip. It's a big problem with elderly with dogs and cats getting underfoot. But Axel's high enough, usually I can bump into him. But a few times I've almost almost had to go over. Mm-hmm, me too. So apples, we're not gonna go we're not gonna go crazy with uh I'm gonna add a little bit of nutmeg. Holiday, you know, right? 
got, got Thanksgiving coming up soon. There's some uh, Vietnamese cinnamon. Mm. That ought to be tasty. Okay. So it's going to be like, what do you think? It's just a little, <laughs> little, little sweetness, you know. Yeah. Not, not overly sweet, but just a, what do you think, honey or maple syrup? Well, come on. Yeah. Come on what? Okay, I love honey, but I think maple syrup will give it more, you know, rich flavor. I hear you. All right. I will yield to your decision. Mm. A little bit. I didn't put, you know, I put a little bit on the, uh, when I was roasting the squash, a lot of it came off. So we're just going to sweat this down, but we want to hold the texture a little bit. But we're just going to go down a little bit, just a little bit more here. Oh, doesn't it? Yeah. We're just gonna, I'm gonna let that set just like that. And we'll be right back. All right. Let's pull our pie shells out. Nice half, you know, not even half. Like, just got a little bit of, a little bit of rawness out of it. So, Careful, you know, with the skin. Make sure you've got it all off, off at this stage. Okay. Oh, this is going to be so tasty. I'm going to give this a little dusting on its own, some nutmeg, because this really doesn't have a whole lot of flavor, you know. A little bit of cinnamon. All right. Then, put a little bit of this on top. Apple bacon mixture. Got a little bit of liquid in it, but that's okay. Okay, let that cool a little bit before we uh, put our egg mixture over the top. Eggs, minus the shell. Okay. Okay, has some half and half. I'm gonna beat the egg first. We'll do one more egg. Rather have a little bit more than not enough. Okay. Come on over here. We're going to season it up a little bit. Okay, believe it or not, I'm going to put a little bit of maple syrup in the in the mixture. Mm. So it'll be like a sweet, savory. Okay. I'll put some salt. We didn't put any, don't forget. 
Bloody wang, Lucretia. Wang. Okay. Yeah. A little black pepper. Yeah, we're going to season this one too. The Vietnamese cinnamon. Mm. That's so fragrant, so beautiful. I don't know where we got this from. But... Do you? Uh, it was a gift. Oh. Yeah. Some nutmeg. So this pie is going to be redolent. Like that word? Redolent? Redolent? Mm -hmm. Of Meaning? Of cinnamon. It'll be redolent of cinnamon and nutmeg. Redolent. Yeah. How do you spell it? I think R O D O, no, red. R R E D A L E N T E, redolent. Be a good Jeopardy question. All right, I got one more serious question after this, Lakeisha. Okay. Okay, look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one egg too much. All right, let's let it set. We're gonna let that settle down a little bit. We're gonna clean up a little bit. Before this goes in the oven, I got one big question to ask after. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Come on in, Lakeisha. Okay, the big question. Do we use some of Lee's smoke cheddar on top of this? Oh, boy. What do you think, a little bit? Ooh. Oh, oh, ooh. <laughs> I say I, a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. Yeah? I, I think you have so many flavors there. Yeah? Yeah. But you know, Cheddar goes good with apple. So, it's smoked cheddar. Right, just a little bit. Okay. Huh? Watch out there, Mr. Buddy. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, look at this for Lee. My friend Lee. I need the big dog. Just a little bit on top. They're gonna say, ooh, where's that smoke flavor coming from? Okay, what do you think? Let's we'll see if this is the meaning. Well, I think very little because I think there's some really good well, flavors. This is very little. Yeah. Mm. Good flavors working already. Mm. slices. All right. We're at three and a quarter. You got to slow bake it. I'd say about 30 minutes. In she goes. Okay, so we had this left this little custard here. So I said, what are we going to do with it? How about a little bit of a banana custard? Have a little mold. Butter it. Waste not, want not. You know, it'll be a nice little dessert. So. Okay. And 
here we're going to put some honey over the top. <coughs> Stonewall Acres, honey, local honey. All right. All right. The goodness is in the oven. We'll be back in about 30 minutes and see how that baby comes out. Probably not going to cut into it till tomorrow. As Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues. I'm Daddy Jack. This is Axel Fred. Sit. It, it was Axel Rose, but he acts too much like a Fred. But he's a good boy. And then uh, Lakeisha Lee on camera. Love you. Couldn't do it without you. Be right Love back. you, honey. Hey, you too, Axel. <laughs> I could do it without you, but I, I don't want to. <laughs> there they are. Just came out of the oven. And a pudding. Let that cool down. We'll try that. So I shut it off, I shut the oven off about 15 minutes ago. Just let it slowly finish off. You see the pieces of bacon, the apple, some of the cheese. We'll be eating these tomorrow. Rachel and you know, a few other people may be coming over. And uh, I'm not going to refrigerate these. Might be put one in the refrigerator, but leave one out because you know what? There's something when you do put something in the refrigerator, just leave it at room temperature, it seems to be different the texture and everything. So we'll just heat it back up tomorrow. Boy, you know, it, it told me when that was ready, I could smell it, and uh, you know, really, when you're cooking, you. You pay attention and you really can smell when it's fully cooked. Anyway, this is Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues.